Hi guys and welcome to the sixth video in this series where we are learning Java using Android Studio. So in the last video we looked at integers which are whole numbers and how to make um, some basic calculations with whole numbers, adding some together, subtracting some, multiplying and now we're going to quickly look at uh, using decimal values because it's almost the same deal as, uh, as, as with integers. So values with, with decimal points in, they're, um, they're called floating point numbers. So for example, 42.5 would be classed as a floating point number. And as you see, it doesn't like this, the fact that I've uh, assigned this variable age with a value of 42.5 because it's an integer, an integer should be a whole number. So it doesn't like that. So, so we have to use a different variable. And we're gonna call it, instead of an integer, we're gonna call it a double. So it's automatically selected double there as a suggestion so I can press enter and it will select that as a double so I've now got a variable called age of type double and double ver double variables allowed to be uh, allowed to have decimal values there can also be whole numbers we don't have to just declare whole numbers as integers we can declare a whole number as a double as well now you could ask why why use int at all then if you can if a double can use um, whole numbers and decimal places. Well it depends on, on your application and what you want to use, what you're working out. A double is actually a 64 bit value, whereas an int is only a 16 bit value. So uses up a lot less an int uses up a lot less memory. It's quicker to access. So it depends on depends on the application. But I'm just gonna I'm just showing you the difference between a, a dub a double and an int integer. So if we if we look at this if we look at this statement double age equals 53 and integer shoe size equals 8 and we can do a calculation now we can say um, if we declare another variable let's put in a new line let's say double and it's called the variable answer equals age divided by shoe size and a semicolon to end the statement. So it's going to calculate 53 divided by 8, allocate the result into this variable called answer, and the answer is a double value, is, a, is of type double. So let's see what we see. So if I put answer in the between the parentheses and we run that application, and we see our result, 6.625. So we can use our doubles to represent decimal values. So we could put 53.7863872 and we could divide that by, let's call this a double. And let's say this value is 8.542456, whatever, some random decimal value. And again, it's going to calculate this number divided by this number and let's see what we get. Yeah, we could, we could, you could go on and put a load more numbers in there, a load more numbers in there, and you can also obviously times those two together. So we could use double to work out precise values. Now you do have to be careful when you're working with um, doubles, as far as you can't you really shouldn't use the double type to work out currency so let's say for example uh, you own a business um, right, let's clear let's clear this out of the way let's say for example you own a business and you've got two employees so let's say double and uh, you've got your employee your first employee he's got an hourly rate and let's say his name's Jody and his hourly rate is say fourteen pounds twenty, and you've got another uh, employee, call him Eduardo, and his hourly rate equals five pounds sixty, and you want to work out how much these employees are costing you every hour. So what you, what you could do is you could 
say let's call this variable cost and we just want to add these two variables together so I'll start typing Joe there's Joe the hourly rate and plus Eduardo's hourly rate and it would add those two values together and what would you expect to see you'd expect to see uh, 14 point 14 pounds 20 plus 5 pound 60 let's space that 14 pounds 20 plus 5 pound 60 you'd expect to see 19 pound 80 so let's change this variable here to output cost and let's run that and see what happens so these two values values added together which is what we're doing here we should see 19 pound 80 and it's not quite 19 pound 80 it's 19 pound 0.7999997 so that's not actually correct because computers cannot calculate tenths very well because bon bon um, computers count in binary which is base 2 mathematics where we count in, in 1 to 10 which is base 10 computers count in uh, using base 2 and you cannot get a tenths in base 2 so in this example it's given us this output obviously if we wanted to multiply that in uh, as a weekly value and then as a, as a monthly value and a yearly value if you have uh, many employees you could find that this value is actually significantly out and it is a big problem um, when it comes to using floating point numbers in computers in fact this kind of this kind of problem actually caused a, a Patriot missile failure during the Gulf War in, in 1991 Patriot missile was uh, expected to intercept a Scud missile and because of the discrepancy in the computer clock computers can't count in tenths over a period of a hundred hours for every tenth of a second that went by the computer was actually out by about one millionth of a second um, so over a hundred hours it was out by about half a second and that was enough to the Patriot missile failed to track the, mis the uh, Patriot missile failed to track the SCUD and the SCUD um, struck up an American army barracks killing 28 soldiers but because of the, um, the Patriot missiles clock was out by half a second after 100 hours of um, operation and then that half a second was bearing in mind the missile travels at 1600 meters per second it was actually about half a kilometer out so it caused a big issue a well, catastrophic issue actually um, so these are these are the problems that you can get with 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 uh, floating point numbers I mean in this case if you want if you wanted to calculate wages so what we do here is remove the decimal place so instead of representing pounds there's no representing pence we could calculate the, the two early rates added together and then we could just divide by 100 and instead of getting this this incorrect error we'd now get a more accurate um, figure there's actually quite a nice video on YouTube that you can watch. I'll put the link just hit, just here, where the guy explains the problems with floating point numbers and decimal values in computer programming. So that's a brief look at uh, decimal values. So you can use decimal values in uh, in your program. And I think we've I think we've learned enough now that we can actually start moving on to looking at if statements. So in our next video, we can look at what is an if statement and how can we use if statements and you'll be using them a lot probably I'd imagine so um, I hope you like this video guys thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and I'll see you in the next video